Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I just did a couple of Sparks reviews and rankings and now I'm on to doing a couple of Paul McCartney reviews and rankings. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Red Rose Speedway from I believe it's 1973 although I've been wrong once before. I've talked about this album because I bought the remastered version and I recently bought the box set finally. So I have two, two of these. And back in the day I used to think that this album was mediocre at best. And it wasn't until this, when I bought this two, two disc I believe, uh, deluxe version, remastered. And I finally really listened to it, and it is a superb album. I absolutely love it. So first I will talk about production and everything else. The production is excellent. It's a 10. The album cover is a 10. The lyrics are a 7. My favorite song. Now, I never thought this would be a favorite song. I had heard it in the past. You know, I listened to it a couple of times, and I just, like I said, I thought it was kind of eh, average at best. But my favorite song is the medley at the end with Hold Me Tight, Lazy Dynamite, Hands of Love, and Power Cut. No, they're not the greatest lyrics. but And even separately, they're, they're probably not the greatest songs. But the way... He's made it into the medley, and especially the last uh, two or three minutes with the guitar solos and bringing back the medleys from all four of those songs. And I just love the way it, it flows and the vocals and everything about it. And I was at one point going to do a review of the Red Rose Speedway double album that I think Paul originally wanted to release and it's on the box set and I think it's great but the one thing I will say is on the double album it ends with uh, Little Lamb Dragonfly instead of the medley and I think the medley is a, a much better album closer so you know I'm happy with history I guess is what I'm trying to say and I'm happy with that as a single album and I'm happy and other McCarthy fans should be happy that they can listen to the double album if they want. My least favorite song but I still love it is Loop, First Indian on the Moon, an instrumental which is very Pink Floydish, but it's really cool. The album rating is an A minus. Oh no it's not, it's an A plus. I don't know what I'm talking about is an A plus. And in my rankings, it's only in third spot because Paul McCartney has released so many great albums. You know, back in the day, I used to think, yeah, Red Rose Speedway was just so-so. Even McCartney, I thought, was just okay. And Wildlife, I thought, was just okay. But now I, I love all of them. And uh, going through the songs quickly. Great opening track, Big Barn Red, My Love. Back when it was on the radio all the time, I used to think, oh, it's such a hokey love song. But of course now, it is a classic. And the guitar solo by Henry, uh, what's his name? I won't pronounce his I'll, I'll mispronounce his last name, but you know who I'm talking about. Uh, it's excellent. Get on the Right Thing is excellent. One More Kiss is great. Little Lamb Dragonfly. You know, the title alone kind of, back in the day it turned me off. It's, oh, it's another lovey-dovey song by Paul. But it's a very, very moving song, If you, especially if you know the history of why he wrote that song. You can Google it. Then, Single Pigeon is great. It, it could have actually fit on the White Elbow as an acoustic number. When the Night, great vocals. 
loop, first ending on the moon, I love. Very experimental and I, I know some Paul McCartney fans don't think it fits on the album or they don't like it too much, but I love it. And, like I said, the medley, over 11 minutes long, uh, is just superb. So overall, another excellent album by the greatest solo artist of all time, Paul McCartney.